Hello, everyone. In my previous lecture, uh, I showed you how to uh, calculate the SPI uh, uh, using your city of paths and NCLs and draw the temporal plots. Okay. Now I will show you how to calculate SPI using NetCity files and draw the special figures. Okay. Here it is. I already described uh, what is the function is dimension SPI. Uh, so if you if you miss that, that class just was the previous lecture. Okay. Now <clears throat> let me describe this figure. Okay. From this um, for this the script we use the this uh, data okay this is a global precipitation you can see from there okay uh, we use the global precipitation climatology project gpc fee data so uh, from this website you can download this data here okay yeah this data you just click on it and it will be downloaded okay just click on it it will be downloaded Okay, now we have a data, and what I said before, uh, we need to use, uh, uh, okay, Impa, like we use the NCL file dump, NCL file dump, then our data, okay? Our data. Yeah, this is our data, okay? Uh, the peak, P R E C time, we have a time, we have a lat long. Because, you know, if you want to make uh, the special plots, you should have a lat and long, right? Then, if you want to calculate the SPI, you should have time. That's why we need the three dimensional data. So, we have a data and precipitation, and the P R E C, this is the name, and data is plot. So we have a three dimensions, time, lat, and law. Right? We have a missing value, then a fill value, we have units millimeter per day. So the, our data is millimeter per day, daily data, and then long name is precipitation, right? We know our <coughs> data. Here, uh, the previous uh, script you just, uh, you, you saw, we just use the add file, even you can use like this. Yeah, this is a directory dot slash means in this directory like the present directory then there's a file name then if that file this directory then file name read so it's the same way same thing you can use one line or you can use three lines is okay right then the similar way we need to access our PREC what what is uh, what do you saw in our in, uh, Encel file down okay then uh, in this script, we use the float to double. Like well, our data is in flow, uh, our data is float, so we want to make it double. Okay, float to double, this is the function. Then we have the missing value. So we have the missing value, then the, we, are, we have the fill value, okay? Then we can the print bar summary, PRC. Okay, what I say, if you don't want to run the whole code, you just type exit and run the code, okay? Now I will run the code. Okay, NCL SPI. So, sorry, and then SPL. Okay, now you can see the PRC. Okay, PRC. We have a three dimension, so we have a 384 time. We have a lat and long. Okay, so the lat is from 88 to 88, and long. Okay, uh, that's mean this is a global. Okay. The lead is 19 to 90, and uh, this is 0 to like 1 to 360. This is a global data. Uh, we have a field value in this millimeter per day, long and precipitation. We have a missing value. So, minimum value is 0, maximum is 47 millimeters per day. Okay. So, now we know our data. <coughs> in a similar way, uh, they say you know the 12 month and 24 month time is the end run. So in this uh, example, I uh, can see uh, from there, these are two figures. One is 12 month time scale, another one is 24 month time scale, okay? So we'll make four figures, okay? 12 month and 24 month. So this is the figure. We have a different time, okay? Uh, okay. 2007 and this is a 2010-12 so two time and we have uh, the figure for the 12 month time is called okay the same way 
the same date will, will, will be uh, the 24 months time is good, okay? So here, 12 and 24, uh, the similar way, okay, D is a dim sizes, then end time is with the, we have the first dimension, we have a time, and second dimension, we have a lat, and third dimension, we have a long. You know, NCLA zero base, what I said before, NCLA zero base, so it's we count from zero, zero, one, two. That's when we have a three dimension, right? From there, we can access the date. Then I have already described this in my previous lecture, okay? Then in the similar way, we can give the name SPI special, okay? And for this, I will not describe again because I have already described in the previous lecture. And then I can give a different color. Uh, this is, okay, now here, that was on, <clears throat> like previous lecture was for temporal plots. Now we are may want to make the special plots. That's why we need to, uh, CN means contour fill on true. That's when we want to uh, fill um, the contour by color, okay? Then, uh, this is a set color. If, uh, if you want to see the more colors, you just uh, type NCL, uh, uh, okay, NCL uh, color table glory. Okay, you will search it. NCL color table glory, you will find it. NCL color. NCL color tables glory, sorry. Okay, in cell file color table, glory. Yeah, here. So from there you can get more color table. Okay, name color. What do you want? There are a lot of colors in NCL. Okay, so just use. I go to the color table glory. You will uh, you will find this uh, link underneath my video. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Uh, then we want to uh, contour fill in raster mode, okay? I'm using 6.6.2, you know, and the previous version is okay. Uh, but in 6.2 uh, now we have a 6.63. So we need to use the raster fill, otherwise you will not get the uh, fill color value. You just give, uh, you will get the transparent <coughs> maps, okay? Line falls, we don't want to draw the control line. Then we want to set the contour, uh, okay, manual, like the minimum. What I, what we used uh, for temporal cross, it was negative three to positive three, right? So that's why it's a contour maximum, minimum is negative three, maximum is three, then the interval is 0 0.5. We don't want to uh, see the, uh, like the indiv individual color bar. Here you see from, a figure we use the common color bar right if you want to give uh, color bar for every figure like for this figure and this figure you, you can turn it uh, true okay this is a logical true but we don't want to uh, make uh, individual color bars so we just use the false okay the common then what I said before uh, it should be the panel plots okay I'll not describe the similar way we have uh, two figures so two graphic then is uh, run from like 12 to 24 time scales just was the previous lecture then we use the SPI the same way what I used last time then you can give the name the same way okay and we use the copy uh, this one like when I use this, so SPI will not get the long name unit, etc., etc. Do you know why? Because when you use this function, okay, uh, your metadata like the attributes, time, lat, on, etc., your information will be lost, okay? That's why you use the copy variable coordinates, okay? So that's why it will copy and uh, from PRC to SPI. When you calculate, use this function, you can get the information. That's why we have PRC. We define the PRC. We have a, uh, this one, right? PRC. Okay, we have a PRC. We have a time, lat, long, etc. This information, right? So if you don't use the copy variable quotation, like over time, what I said in the previous lecture, 
uh, we use uh, time dimension to calculate the SPI. So now uh, when you use just time, like we have only let and log, okay? Because our map should be uh, within let and log. That's why we need to copy the let and log. Otherwise, you will lose the information and you can make figures in SP uh, NCL, okay? That's why we just copy variable coordinates from PRC to SPI, okay? Then you know, it's interesting, you know that then uh, in the last uh, lecture, we used the GHM, CHM, XY. Now we have a control map. That's why we use these function control maps. The same way we want to save our map in uh, PNG file, then SPI, with a like, specific date, right? Like uh, 2007 for July, okay? July 2000, and with the whole lat whole loan, okay? Ah, because you have a uh, three dimension SPI, you will have a time. So for time, we just use the specific year, like <coughs> July 7, uh, 2000, and with a lat and loan, okay? The same way, but this is for the another day, okay? 2006, uh, yeah, December, okay, yeah, December 2006. Then we use a ZSN panel like previous one, and as we have only two, then two row, one column, okay. Now two days, so one is for 12 month time scale, so we'll get for this, and we have a 24 uh, month time scale, so that's when we'll get the four figures, okay. Okay, let's run this code. Now we get, we got this figure. One is for 12 month, the, okay, 12 month. Another one for. Now, using this course, you can uh, calculate the SPI using your CDF file and draw temporal and special plots, okay? It's very easy and now I can calculate SPI using net serial file okay thank you so much if you are new here please subscribe my channel and if you miss my previous classes you can watch on YouTube okay thank you bye bye